Welcome back, everyone. If you're just joining us, here are the major stories that we are tracking and that you need to know to start your day. The global case total of the coronavirus is now at almost 725,000 with 152,000 recoveries. This, as the president has said, stay at home orders or social distancing should stay in place through the end of April. Nationally, the United States has over 143,000 confirmed cases, including 2,500 deaths and almost 5,000 recoveries. Here in California, there are over 6,300 confirmed cases with an epicenter in Los Angeles County where there are now 2,100 cases. The number of positive cases in Butte County still remains at five. Shasta County has confirmed four cases and Glen County has confirmed one case of the coronavirus. Yuba Sutter County has a total of 10 confirmed cases and Humboldt County announced four additional cases this past weekend, bringing that county's total to 18 positive cases. Tehama, Modoc, and Trinity counties remain at zero. The Reading Police Department has launched a new feature in which you can report non-essential businesses that are violating the stay-at-home order. It's called Report Stay-at-Home Violations, and it is available on the Reading Police Department's website. The RPD says it has received several calls about businesses staying open, which may not be considered essential. Officers are hoping the online reporting tool will reduce the number of calls received to the department. The hunt is on this morning for two inmates who took off from a conservation camp in Humboldt Friday night. Representatives with law enforcement say the inmates were last seen at the Eel River Conservation Camp at 8.30 p.m. Staff say the two are identified as Derek Barnett and Noah Wilson, both wearing gray sweats and white tennis shoes. The CHP, along with CAL FIRE and the California Department of Correction and Rehabilitation, are helping in this search. If you have seen either of these men or you know where they may be, call 911. A youngster who went missing Saturday in Reading has been found safe. The Reading Police Department says Ashton Mask was the boy who went met missing. He was last seen in the area of Churn Creek Road and Adams Lane. Officers say he was unable to care for his own safety and was considered at risk. He's now home, safe, as of Sunday afternoon, and the Reading Police Department is sending out a thank you to the public for being on the lookout for this teen. A man driving under the influence in a BMW sedan crashed with a Chico police car. It happened Friday night. The driver, 28-year-old Anthony Squitteri from Chico, showed symptoms of being under the influence of drugs. Both the driver and the Chico police officer involved suffered minor injuries. That driver arrested by police and booked into the Butte County Jail. And the CHP says one person is dead. It happened near Shasta County after a car rolled down an embankment on Highway 299. Officers say it happened Sunday around 6 p.m. east of Sugar Pine Camp Road in Bella Vista. They say the driver failed to make a right turn and went across the opposite lane and slammed into a tree. That driver was wearing a seatbelt and no other passengers were involved. That crash is now under investigation.